Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we bow in your presence, we pause to give you thanks for all that you have done for us. We ask of thee to remove everything that is unlike thee that will hinder your Holy Spirit from coming to open up our understanding. We ask of thee in a special way to help your word to come forth with clarity and help that it will be a blessing to not only us, but for those who will be watching this video. We ask, I ask of thee to hide me behind the cross and be, be my more peace and just lead out. Thank you for all that you will do and thank you for all that you have been doing. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, I'll be looking at this 70 years, but this um, study will be a series, so I'll be continuing, 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 looking at the 70, 70 years of Babylon as I have on the board, but I, it will be a series. So let us turn our Bibles to Jeremiah 25, Jeremiah 25, verse 12. Oh, sorry. Jeremiah 25, verse 11 and 12. Sorry. So 11 and 12 says... And this whole land shall be desolation, a desolation, and an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Verse 12, and it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, saith the Lord, for their for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolation. So here in verse 11 and 12, God made mention of Nebuchadnezzar's 70 years. Um, and it says that because of its iniquity um, and also for their, for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans that I will make it a perpetual desolation. So based on that, based on the verse 11 and 12, we see that there will be a 70 years um, in the ruling of Nebuchadnezzar because it has been said by the Lord. Um, these, this history, I've gotten it from the great empires of Bible prophecy. So we can go through that book for ourselves. It said, before, Bab before Babylonian Babylon em Empire or Nebuchadnezzar arose to power, the empire of Assyria ruled the world. So before um, Nebu um, Babylon came in as a world ruling power, there was Assyria. So we had have Assyria ruling the world. So ruling the world before Babylon came on the scene. S C E N E, and it's in 625 BC there was a revolt of the countries of Media, Babylon, and Egypt, all at once. So there was a revolt in in the whole in in um, Babylon, and this revolt was taking place in. Not, not in Babylon, in the continent. You use the 
Syria. So because Syria is big, so but Media Persia, Babylon and Egypt, they were a part of Assyria. So within that era, there was a revolt and the revolt was in Media, Babylon and Egypt. So a revolt. in Babylon, Media, and Egypt. So the king of Assyria in person subdued the revolt in the in media while he sent Napo Polozar to Babylon into subjection again. Both were entirely successful. Napo Polozar received the title King of Babylon. So here the king of Assyria he sent Nebuchadnezzar and Nab Nabopolozar is Nebuchadnezzar's father and here the king of Assyria sent Nabopolozar into Babylon to bring it under subjection right to Assyrian rule again then you then so this was in 625 So 625 BC, there was a revolt. So there is a first revolt. And it was between Babylon, Media, Persia, and Egypt. And then it says, Nebuchadnezzar led out in a revolt on the on the part of the same three countries in 612 BC. So there was another revolt. This was due to the affairs in the government of Assyria that went from bad to worse. This re revolt was completely successful. Nineveh was made a heap of rains and the Assyrian Empire was divided into three great divisions media holding the the north the northeast and the extreme north babylon holding the holding elam and the plain and villages of the euphrates and the tyris and egypt holding all the country west of euphrates so we see that there was another revolt in 6 612 bc but this rev revolt was led out by the um Napio, Napio polozar so there's a second revolt and this was led out by the king general who was Nabu polozar and then you see the sea of this alliance between Babylon and Media was the marriage of Amethyst, the daughter of the king of Media, to, the, to Nebuchadnezzar, son of Napolozar. So there was an alliance, and then you, the, the alliance with Babylon and Media, and this was the marriage, this was a marriage between. Amethyst. So Amethyst is the king of Per Media, daughter. So they they married. Um, ne Nebuchadnezzar married to Amethyst. So there's a an alliance. Between Babylon and media. When you look at this period of time from 625 to 612, 
you see that it is 13 years. Now, when you look at our line from the midnight, we know that 13 re represent rebellion and the fact that we have a revolt. There was a rebellion here. So the kingdom of Media, Babylon and Egypt, they rebelled against Assyria. So there's a rebellion there. And then in this time period, let me make mention of it, is 612, this was when the, the alliance was. The alliance between Babylon and Media, right? And then you see now that Assyria was divided into three, right? Three great division. So it was divided. So Assyria was divided. E -I -V -I -D into three parts. All right, what comes to mind when we hear of these division, right, of the three parts? Because when you look, so there was a alliance that caused Assyria to be divided, and the alliance was between Babylon and Media Persia, right? So when you even look in our time, there was also an alliance that was made and you, three, you see three entities coming together into taking, down the, the, into taking down communism. So let us make, see references of other three entities coming together or making an alliance to take down a particular nation or etc. When you look in the Bible, first Kings, so this is from first Kings, when you look at 1 Kings 21, there was three persons coming together into making an alliance to take Naboth vineyard. So you have, we have Ahab, Jezebel, and elders and noblers of Jezreel, right? So there's an alliance. Anybody know the year when that alliance was? All right, because I need to check that. So there was an alliance. With. You have. Ahab. And then you have the elders and noble. Elders. And nobles and then you have Jezebel Je, J E right Z E B E -N. and Jezebel coming together forming an alliance to take Nabod vineyard Naboth. See N A B O T H Vineyard. Vineyard. And two, another alliance we see was the, the worldwide, um, the world divided into three due to the, the, the Cold War or World War III. So we have another alliance taking place in 
the division of and it, this is caused by the cold war so we have the um the world being divided into the first europe so it is the first world so when you research it on the internet it is called the first world second world and third world so you, the first was europe it is divided into europe E U R O P E, and then you have North, North and South, South America. So I'll have North and South America. So America, and then the third one we have the Caribbean. Thanks. A M E R C R I C A. Okay. America. So you see that there's a division, just as how Assyria was divided into three, the world was divided into three, and just as how it, it is caused by a war here in Assyria. It is also due to a war here, just, just the same. And then even when you look at our time in 1989, you see that there was also another three entities coming together to take down the Berlin Wall. So we have one, you have Rome, or the paper, see. And then you have the U USA. And then you have what it is called? Mo Mo Mojahadin. So M U J A H. I D E E N. So you see, this caused the division of the world. World. This caused the fall of the Berlin Wall. This was caused to dis divide, divide um, Assyria. But when we, let us turn to Daniel 11 verse 6, because we see the same alliance going on. There's an alliance going on in Daniel 11 verse 6. Let us turn to Daniel 11 verse 6. And we are coming to a close. Daniel 11 verse 6 and it, it says and in the end of years they shall join themselves together for the kings for the king's daughter of the south shall come to the king of the north to make an agreement but she shall not retain their po the power of the arm neither shall he stand nor nor his Sorry, nor his arm, but she shall be given up, and they that bought her, and he that begat her, and he that strengthened her in these times. So when you look at this history, you see that there's a war taking place between the king of the north and the king of the south. And you see that the the and it is it was a marriage. You see where the daughter of the king of the south when was the, the king's daughter of the king of the south was given as a for an alliance or in a marriage to the king of the north so that they could make peace and then you see where she shall not return and she was bernice so bernice was given over to keep to the king of the north for an alliance and you see this this same example here that had taken place in the history of 
Assyria with the alliance between Babylon and Media Persia. You've seen it here in Daniel 11:6. The same alliance or marriage between the king of the north and the king of the south. So today we'll end here and we will pick up to see where Dan Babylon um, 70 years began and where Babylon 70 years ended. So as I just went through, this is before Babylon. So we are going to, we are leading it up to where we will see um, Babylon coming in on the scene, being the ruling, ruling the world. So let us kneel for prayer. Oh Heavenly Father, we again give you thanks and I pray that this was a blessing to hearts and where they can learn something from it. And we just ask you to continue to lead out as your word is coming alive and we need to understand the prophecies the world if the prophecies of our time and even the world event because you said that history and prophecy doth agree and father to understand your word and to understand what will come upon us on this earth we need to understand the past history to be able to make the connections so we ask of you to help us to be diligent students and so that we can your word will be will lay the foundation within our hearts so that when we are asked to give a reason for our faith we can do so so we just ask of you to give us the help us to be diligent in all things and not to race and to have a firm and immovable platform based on your word so we just ask of you to take full control of us and our minds our hearts and help it not to wander away but help it to Help it so that it can reflect heavenward. We give you thanks and we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen.